I've recently discovered an Elastic Audio bug that I'm hoping is a relatively uh, a relatively new thing and hasn't been happening on uh, undiscovered for a while now. Um, I'd have to go back to a couple other session sessions and look, but this is the problem that I just discovered today. Uh, as you can see here, I've got my system configuration. I'm still on 10.9.5, but that's just because there's a couple things that I'm using that uh, aren't um, completely sussed out on the latest and greatest. Pro Tools 7, I also had this problem on 12.5. Uh, I actually just upgraded to 12.7 to hopefully solve this problem, but here's what I'm finding is happening. Uh, I've got a bass track here that I've gone through, monophonic, in tick mode, gone through, timed it. Every note is pretty much on the grid. Uh, there's a, a couple that I took off the grid just to make it feel a little bit better, but pretty much all of them are on the grid. Um, the one unique thing with this song, I'm hoping that this is what's causing the problem, is I've got tempo changes and meter changes. Um, but what I found is, let me just zoom in really quickly. Okay, you can see notes pretty much on the grid there. Just a little behind there. You can get an idea of where the notes are sitting here, though. Okay. First thing I did was my usual workflow. As I go, let's disable Elastic Audio. I want to commit. Let's commit. Let's wait for it to commit here. I've also tried this with XForm. The exact same thing happened. Uh, again, I don't know why this is happening. This is very odd. I'm hoping this is just a simple bug. Let me find something where we can see a few at the same time. So, if we see that one's on the grid, excellent. That one's a little bit behind. That one's a little bit behind. That one's a little bit behind. Okay, so you can see that I've committed Elastic Audio. Now just so we can jump back and forth really quickly, I'm gonna undo the commit. Oh, look, that jumped. This moved uh, a sig significant amount. Okay, let me redo. See it move? Undo, redo. Okay, let's go look at this note. Let's go look at these guys. Redo, undo. This is rendered, unrendered. Timing's different. Rendered, not rendered. Rendered, not rendered. So, one thing I tried, this track underneath, I left Elastic Audio not rendered and just recorded it onto another track. And then you can also see that everything's not lining up. So what's the problem? Is the problem that Elastic Audio is not rendering it properly? Look, that one's lining up. Why is that one lining up but none of the others? Let's just jump to any spot in the song here and go look. Let's go right here. Like, not even close. That one's a little closer. Not even close. This is pretty scary. Um, because this is something that, you know, I mean, obviously you double check your work. I think Avid needs to triple check their work, but uh, you, you know, you double check your work. But typically, when you commit, when you bounce, when you render, uh, we're all trusting that the process is basically doing what we've been listening to and looking at while working in Elastic Audio. So this is a this is a little bit scary. I'm not sure exactly how to alleviate this problem, um, and I don't know whether the problem is a graphical problem or if it's an audio problem. Um, either way, if anybody else has had this problem and has figured out a solution, please let me know. Um, I'm going to forward this over to the people at Avid as well. Hopefully, they can uh, shed some insight on it as well. So there you have it.